Now let's shift, shift gears a little bit to the nine-man level where we start with a matchup in Region 7. That's right, the Mohaw Lansford Sherwood Mavericks hosting the TGU Titans for homecoming. First play off scrimmage for the Mavs, Drayson Johnson looks deep. He connects to Cordell Skovich wide open and he takes it in for the touchdown. MLS up six to nothing. And TGU now with the ball, Ty Schmidt hit, hit as he's thrown. Finds a Jackson Nelson with an amazing one-handed catch and a possible top play nomination. And that would lead to the Titans inside the red zone. Schmidt this time calls his own number and muscles his way in. TGU up 8-6 after the two-point conversion, but MLS pulls away to win 42-16. And we've still got a lot of big, a couple big game matchups down south. Yeah, now let's send it back to Phil and Luke, who will take us the rest of the way. And the nine-man games don't slow down in the South and disappoint either. They start with the number two team in the sa in the state. Excuse That's me. right. New Salem Allmont looking for its 13th consecutive regular season win, hosting Napoleon Gackle Streeter. Holstein's up 34 at the half, but no slowing down. Ethan Meyer right down the seam needs just one hand to make it six more points. 40 to nothing. Holstein's defense trying to preserve the shutout on fourth down. Chance Hosel coming up with the interception, taking the air out of the Imperials. Brock Norton hoping to be the final nail in the coffin. Tall sweep, cuts it inside at the last second to extend the lead. Holstein's win, 48 nothing. Moving south and out of region contest between Grant County Flasher and Central McLean. The Storm moving the ball well on the first drive. Just four plays and 58 seconds to score. Javin Freeze sliding into your living room before scoring on the QB sneak. Cougars would have a chance though. A line drive punt takes a funny bounce and Wyatt Wagner is there to pounce on it. But the Cougs cannot capitalize. There's one man. We'll make you pay for that. Javin free 73 yards this time, and there's nobody that's going to slow him down. Storm survived with a 46-14 win.